Okay, we're supposed to find the lim or the derivative of this function using the limit definition of derivative, which is this expression right here. Uh, this thing right here is called a difference quotient. It's actually the slope of a secant line for two points on the graph of the given function. But here we have a template for f of x, which means that whatever we're inputting to, into the function, like if I wanted to find f of triangle, I'd put a triangle here and a triangle here. So if I want to find f of x plus h, it's x plus h plus 1 over x plus h. That's what this is right here. That's f of x plus h. And I'm going to subtract f of x, which if you just picture these as x's instead of triangles, you'll have your definition of f of x. So when I subtract f of x, I went ahead and changed both of these signs to minuses. Uh, and so there's the first part. Now, you have a choice on how to simplify this expression. Myself, I treat this as a complex fraction. I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator of the big fraction by the LCD of all the little denominators, which is x times x plus h. And when I take this expression here times the, this, I get x plus h times that LCD, x times x plus h. When I take this LCD times this fraction, the x plus h's cancel out, and I just have a factor of x remaining. When I take this LCD times the minus x, I have minus x times x times x plus h. And when I take the LCD times minus 1 over x, the x's cancel out, and I have minus the factor that remains, the quantity x plus h. Now we're going to uh, multiply these two binomials together or square that binomial and multiply by x. That gives us this x cubed plus 2x squared h plus xh squared. Um, here's the plus x. Here we're going to distribute minus x squared over the x plus h. So we get minus x cubed minus x squared h, and here finally remove these, this set of parentheses, minus x minus h. Now, in red, I've kind of indicated the terms that cancel out, the minus x cubes, the x and the minus x. In blue, I've uh, circled the co similar terms. So 2x squared h minus x squared h gives us 1x squared h. I've got an xh squared in green, and I've got a minus h. So there's what the numerator simplifies to. And, of course, this denominator was always h times this LCD, x times x plus h. And the whole key is, if you've done this correctly, h will always factor out from the terms that remain in the numerator. And here I factored out that h, and then as h approaches 0 but doesn't ever equal 0, those h's cancel out, and I can finally take the limit as h approaches 0 by direct substitution of 0 in for h. So this term goes away when I take the limit. I get x squared minus 1. In the denominator, this term disappears. x times x is x squared. So there's the derivative of the original function using the, le the definition of derivative, the limit definition. Okay, and you'll find out in your next section that f of x could have been written this way. x plus x to the minus 1. And then the derivative, using the power rule, which you might not have learned yet, the derivative of x is 1. Here we get minus 1 x to the minus 2 which is the same as 1 minus 1 over x squared. That's your derivative. Oh, does that look like this? Well, I could get a common denominator for these two fractions. And whoop, uh, subtract the numerators or put it over the common denominator. You do get the same thing. Okay, so 
The good news is that there's eventually a shortcut coming for not having to use the definition of derivative. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.